Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. You know, the way they want you to want them. Like somebody is just pushing for you to want them. This is not about them wanting you. They want you to seek for them. <clears throat> the way they want you to want them, it is a very wrong way. This is why this message, there is nothing wrong when somebody wants you from a place, from a sincere place. No, you, you too can want somebody and say, I want this person to work for me. I want this person to employ me. I want this person to help me. I want this person to give me money. That is, everybody can want somebody. It is not a problem at all. <clears throat> as long as what they want you for or what you want them for it is it is coming from a good place where this person is like they want you they want you to submit to them this is the problem they want you to bow down like they want you to worship them they want you to throw away your own belief and follow their own you understand like everything you stand for they want you to compromise yourself your journey that is a very wrong move that is a very wrong move and this move have triggered hatred towards you they hate you now because you don't want them the way they want you to want them i don't know if i'm making sense you <laughs> i don't know how to put the word the way they want you to want them you don't want them that way you are like, if they repent, if they become saved, if they agree, if they serve the same God that you serve, if they choose to walk in line with our conduct with the will of God, you will want them. Then everybody will want each other together. <laughs> you understand? But unfortunately, child of God, they don't even want you to like come to them with your own belief with your own self they want you to be there this is how they want you like you will just submit to them i will not bow down to men we can only respect men when i use the word men i'm not talking about just man man no i'm talking about both men and women you know some parts in the bible always put the word men when they eat men 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 you understand so i'm just used i'm used to that word it doesn't specifically mean that it have to be a male or a female hallelujah it can be any of those two glory to jesus they hate you because they want you to worship them that is how they want you to want them because you don't want them that way they turn against you. You know, I was giving a message a few days ago and the Lord said, don't compromise. There are some people that will come across your path. They will want you to compromise what you stand for to please them. When they see that you don't want them, you have already seen through them. You have seen their mission. You are like this one is just a Pharisee. I can't. I can't deal with this one. They are not ready to change unrepentant sinners. But they will tell you that they serve God. They know the Lord. The Pharisees too, they told Jesus they serve God. Do they not have sinner gods where they worship God? They serve God. But do they accept the truth in God? No. There is difference between I know God, I serve God, but yet accepting the truth in God becomes a difficult thing. When they now see somebody that accepts the truth in God, they want that person to throw away their belief, their faith, and come and bow down to them. This is why they hate this person so much. 
because you don't want them. You don't want them. And they want you to want them to come and bow down, to come and worship them, to compromise your own self. Hallelujah. We will not compromise our faith, even if it means standing alone. As long as we are standing right, we will stand alone. One with God is majority. That hatred cannot remove God from your life. There are some things I see in this journey, especially as a minister. I am like, well, this which this person is doing right now, saying about me or doing or doing whatever, is not going to remove God from my life. He's not going to remove the gift of God. He's not going to stop me unless God himself stop me or I have to stop myself. God said, oh, evangelist, say that enough now. Just go and rest. This, don't do it. That is only that. But I know God is not a man. He will equip his own. The Bible said that the harvest is, is ripe. The laborer are few. When you know that God has made you a laborer in his vineyard and God is on your side, why should you be worried about what somebody else? They can say something that will remove people from your life. They can do things that will remove people from your life, but they cannot do anything that will remove God from your life. Even Satan could not remove God from the life of Job. They can do things that will remove human beings. You understand? Remove her past, remove whatever they want to remove, whatever they think they can remove, but they cannot remove God from your life. And this you must know, that when, no, when God is not removed from your life, you have everything. That is where restoration comes in. When nothing can remove God from your life, you have everything. They hate you because you don't want them. The way they want you to want them. I pray, child of God, no power will be able to make you to compromise your faith and your stand in the Lord. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelisira. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.